the history of 5301 right here. It's over, and I miss it already. It's the last day of 5301. Next week, everybody will turn in their lab reports, and the week after that, they'll all pass the class. I came with like no lab experience. This is my first ever lab. I didn't have any research experience um, coming here at MIT, at least in the sciences. Like in the beginning, I understood nothing. I learned a lot. Like I actually knew the whole theoretical part of it but like, I was always interested in getting to know this part too. And I learned a lot about chem lab techniques. I got a hang of it. I mean, the story was really bad. I mean, you could ask Phil or, any, or anyone. <laughs> As I've progressed in this class, I think I've gotten a lot better. It's been a journey for everyone, but it's not all about the science. The best thing about 5301 was getting to meet the people. It was really, really fun. It was a lot of fun. I had a ton of fun in lab, like meeting everyone, making friends. We really bonded a lot in those three weeks. I'm gonna miss the class and the atmosphere. Everyone's like talking to each other and we're all like getting to know each other and we're all loud. Spirit of 5301 will live on. The chemistry department is getting a few more majors this year. Taking this lab class especially it strengthened my sort of desire to pursue chemistry. I actually uh, switched my major from chemical engineering to chemistry. I think it was the right choice for me. After 5301, I realized that I really did like being in lab. I do have a strong passion for chemistry um, and that I could do it for the rest of my life. Hansel doesn't know it yet, but she'll declare chemistry as well. At the end of the day, Dr. Dolan meets with every student individually to say goodbye and help them find a year out lab. He just wanted to like say that he enjoyed having us and like ask us what our plans were for our majors and stuff like that. I just talked to him about how the class was, what I was thinking about doing, and he was letting me know that he'll be here to help us read our drafts of emails to professors and stuff. And just a few weeks later, Emily, Hansel, and Ike all have Europe's. The research that I'm doing in the Essigman lab is we are looking at some chlorouracil derivatives, and we're putting these lesions inside DNA, and we're testing it to see if it's causes any mutations, and this can lead to diabetes and cancer. We're studying this just to locate exactly what each lesions do and how they affect the body. Hi, I'm in lab. The whole purpose of what I'm doing is to figure out how fast we can make peptide FMOC chemistry. Right now I'm currently designing an experiment to take a peptide at room temperature and compare it with um, how it couples under a microwave at 60 degrees, which is the optimal temperature. I got a year up. Uh, yeah, so they del delivered on the problems. It's like working with metal organic frameworks or MOFs, which are really well structured organic molecules. The most important thing was 5301. I took that, just like, it was like, all right, this guy's prepared, you know. See ya. I'm out. I'm out. Monday, I wake up. At 2 o'clock p.m. Yeah. 5301 was tough. But Anthony, Lena, Ike, Emily, and the others met the challenge. Don't feel intimidated. You're still here, right? You still made it. Make the best of what you have. You're just like everyone else. You're as smart as everyone else. That's why you're here. You're here for a purpose, though. So. Do your staying, study hard and you'll pass. I don't guarantee an A though, but you'll pass. <laughs>
Oh, no. Don't film this. <laughs>